Hey guys, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the, uh, it's sort of like a review about the, in order to start my lawn mowers. Um, I use a little push start method. I'm not going to do like a uh, how to, it's more of a review. There's a lot of how to videos on YouTube when I actually had to do these push starts, but basically, I mean, very simple. Oh, hang on, I'm sorry, I gotta turn it on first. But. Pretty much that, um, and then here is my other mower here. Uh, this is a pull start one, but here. So, um, but basically, uh, one thing that I've learned: um, if you guys want to do this project, just be very careful. Don't use anything that's lower than I'd say an 80 amp um, switch. And uh, the only reason why is because I fried probably three of them uh, learning this. So, just uh, if you're going to use these little switches right here. Um, just make sure that they're not like 30 amp so or 40 amp because I know I blew two of those already. Um, I've been using 80 amps and they've been holding up pretty good. So uh, yeah, so if you do these little push button pull starts or whatnot, uh, keyless uh, in order to start your mowers, um, they're pretty cool, pretty handy. But uh, just make sure the switches are more than I'd say 80 amp. That way you're not frying these switches. They're not they're not cheap. So all right, but uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.